Do you struggle yeah. knowing what to pack for toiletries on your upcoming trip? I've been there. I've said, dang, I wish I would have brought. I'm Key, and this is Kiki Key Key Adventures. I've been traveling using points and miles since 2017. I'm a regular person with a regular job who has the goal of taking at least one trip per month during 2024 using points and miles. Today, I want to share everything you need to have in your toiletry bag to make your trip a success. Now let's get into it. First, the bag itself. Um, prior to this bag, I actually had a Ziploc bag. So if you don't have a toiletry bag, go ahead, head to your kitchen and grab a Ziploc. Alternatively, if you have an American Express Platinum card, you can get my same toiletry bag from Saks. As you know, that card comes with a $100 Saks credit, uh, which is broken up between $50 between January and June and $50 that you can spend between July and December. I'll drop a link to this exact bag down below. So my first tip before I start sharing different items is number one, don't go to the travel aisle at Walmart or Target or wherever you do your shopping. I have my regular full-size deodorant. This is not the little travel size that comes this big. This is just my regular deodorant. Um, this is a 2.6 ounce. So this is 100% available for you to travel with without checking your bag. So number two is my toothbrush. Um, I have an electric toothbrush here. This is an Oral-B that I've had for a number of years. I actually have two of these. One, this one's very old, so I just keep this in my bag, but my other one I keep at home. Highly recommend, if that's possible for you, have a separate toothbrush. Tip number two is to package like things in Ziploc bags. So as I mentioned at the top of the call, I have this bag that I got from Saks a few years back, but I do highly recommend kind of breaking things off into other separate little Ziploc baggies as well. So you'll see in this one that I have my uh, face lotion for the nighttime, as well as my sunblock and face lotion for the daytime here. Again, package that in a Ziploc baggie. Number two is toothbrush heads and toothpaste. So remember tip number one is to not go down that travel aisle. The little travel toothpastes are great, but you're always going to have to keep replenishing these. This was um, maybe $2 at Walmart, and it is currently 2.4 ounces. This has lasted me many trips. I'm on my first trip of 2024, which is why I'm in this hotel room and not my office in my basement. Um, but highly recommend toothpaste, not from the travel section. Additionally, you'll notice I have two toothbrush heads. Um, I started carrying two after I dropped one on a hotel floor and grossed myself out. So next baggie here is the prescriptions. So prescription nasal sprays, as well as some Flonase. If you have any medicine, go ahead and baggage that up. Number four is the face wash that I use in the lotion, as well as some of my dermatology stuff. Bag number five is a cuticle cutter, uh, nail clippers, razor, as well as just a bar of soap that I probably got from a different hotel. Next thing we have here is some body lotion. I typically don't touch this stuff, but if I do, I just usually refill it with whatever I have at home. Um, alternatively, most hotels is going to have lotion and little, you know, trial bottles that you can just take for free. Next is mouthwash. Again, I topped that up. So yes, I bought the travel size container one time, but now I just kind of replenish that. Next up we have is just medication. So we have allergy medicine here. We have Tums. We have Benadryl allergy just in case. And then I have a handful of cough drops. Highly recommend. Last items are, I would recommend, are lip balm or Vaseline or something like that. To stay moisturized. I also have asthma, so I have my inhaler here as well. And those are all of the items in my travel bag that I would recommend. Let me know what's something that you have in your travel bag that I don't. Let me know down in the comments. Thanks. Talk next time.